Web Cache or Proxy Server is a network entity that satisfies HTTP request on behalf of a web server. A web cache has its own storage memory and keeps copies of recently requested objects in this storage. Assume client requests an object on behalf of web server, proxy server will send a response. Client create an HTTP request message and through the TCP connection, send it. If the requested object is available with the web cache, will create a HTTP response message and through the TCP connection, send it to the client. Now assume that the requested object is not available on web cache. Then we will see what happened in this figure. Client send a request, HTTP request through TCP connection. Assume requested object is not available on web cache. It create a request message and send it to the web server. Web server create a response message and through the TCP connection, send it to the web cache. Web cache create a response message and send it to the client through TCP connection. Web caching reduce the response time for the clients. To understand this point, we are going to study this figure. Assume this is your institutional network represented with this bigger cloud, where the transmission links used are 100 Mbps. And this is the access line which connects your institutional network with the internet. And transmission link used here is 15 megabits per second. And this is the internet. And on internet, your web servers are placed. Many replicas of your web server are placed on internet. Assume, instead of sending each request through your local area network, then through this access link to the internet, and then response comes all the way, you have installed a cache inside your institutional network. So you can understand this way response time will reduce. Now we are going to see the advantages of web cache. It reduces response time for the client. It reduces traffic on an access link. This one is the access link which take your traffic to the internet and vice versa. And it reduces traffic in the internet as a whole. Now we are going to study the advantage of web cache in terms of the response time. Again, same network where the institutional network has 100 Mbps uh, transmission links and the access link is 15 Mbps and then internet and uh, your web servers, replicas of web server are installed on the internet. The given data is uh, assume your your network has 15 requests per second and each requested object is 1 megabits while the given is internet delay. Internet delay is 2 seconds which is from there. So total response time will consist of three different type of delays. One is the LAN delay which occurs in this region and the other one is the access delay which occur on this link and the internet delay where the delay value is given to us 2 seconds. To get an idea how much time or how big the delay will be on each of the segment, LAN segment, access segment, etc., we are going to see these calculations. 15 requests per second and each request is 1 megabits and the transmission link inside your LAN or institutional network are 100 megabits. So the value come or traffic intensity value comes 0.15. It means uh, the traffic intensity is 15%, which is very low value. So therefore, delay is in at most tens of milliseconds, which is negligible. Because of this intensity, traffic intensity, your network will cause very low delays and which is only tens of milliseconds, which is a negligible value. And then we are going to see the traffic intensity on this 15 Mbps access link. Same calculation, 15 requests per second. Uh, size of each request is 1 megabits and the transmission link bandwidth is 15 Mbps, where the value comes 1. This is a very high value. Therefore, delay is in order of minutes, which is very large. So because of this value, because the traffic intensity is very high on this link, uh, the delays are very high and could be in order of minutes while internet delay is given to us the two seconds. So to overcome on this problem, we have two solutions. First of all, this is the problematic link. Replace this link with a high bandwidth link. Access link could be replaced. Another solution is have a cache installed inside your local area network. And here we are going to see in the quantitative terms, if we install a cache inside our local area network, how it will be beneficial for us in terms of time. 
assume that hit rate is 40% or 0.4. What it means? It means that whatever objects your host require, 40% of those objects will be found on the or request will be fulfilled by the cache. While for the 60% request, it has to go all through the web server. And delays are three. This green one is the LAN delay. The pink one is the access delay. And this one is the internet delay. Look, 40, 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.01 second. Why? Because we have seen that the uh, LAN delay is in only tens of milliseconds. That is why we use this value. 40% times the delay will be only tens of milliseconds and then access link. So remaining 60% request has to go through the access link and then the, through the internet. Access link, look why this value 0.01 is used. It is because now the traffic intensity on this link has reduced because only 60% traffic is going. So traffic intensity has reduced and now the it will cause only the delay of uh, uh, tens of milliseconds again. So that's why we use it 0.01 value. And then 60% uh, time uh, traffic is going on the internet of course. So the internet delay is 2. So we added all the delays and the value come slightly larger than 1.2 seconds. Earlier when all traffic was going to the web server through the internet, only the internet delay was 2 seconds. And now when we have installed a web cache, the average delay is 1.2 seconds.